for the last week we've been living on the edge. <laughs> I'm Paul. I'm James. And of course our travel this companion, Chompers. Chompers. And we have been spending the last week at the River's Edge Campground in... Dewey Rose, Georgia. <laughs> that just makes me laugh. So the River's Edge is a very large camp, probably one of the largest LGBTQ friendly campgrounds we've ever been in. It's very well maintained. They have friendly greenskeepers. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably one of the top five as far as maintenance and we could tell oh, yeah. how organized and uh, clean and, and clean, set up it was. no junk sitting around. Really nice. Signed yeah. really well, very easy to get to. And the people were very, very friendly. Exactly. Uh, 15, 20 minutes after we set up camp, we took a walk around just to get our bearings and yeah. we were approached by a couple of guys whose first thing they said to us was, where's Chompers? Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone remembers Chompers names. No one remembers that I'm That's Paul fine. and he's James. And I'm they just James. remember Chompers. As always, the camps are super friendly. They have weekend events here. This weekend it was Sorted Lives, a very Southern, uh, if you know the movie, event. And what we learned was, it's a it's bitch. bitch. Sort out, out your sorted, sorted lives. lives. So this is all around the pool, which is really kind of the heart of the camp, of course. And next to the pool is a game room. Well, that spa, they have a the kind spa, of an indoor, a, outdoor type spa, exactly. which was really cool. A little cafe, if you want to call it that. I mean, they call it a restaurant or cafe, but it's kind of a snack shop. That's kind of cool. And the big pavilion, which is open air. So on weekends, a lot of people come here from Atlanta or they come down from South Carolina. And it we probably had a couple hundred people here this weekend. Yeah. Very fun, very social. And even after the organized events are over, a lot of the sites have after hours events. That was really fun. So definitely, if you're looking for social, this is the place to come. So getting here was really easy. It was right off the interstate and then major asphalt roads. There's no gravel roads to get here. They're all main, all the way up to the main uh, drive into the camp. So, yeah, and really picturesque. Too. Yeah, so no problems nice with your class A, a B, a C, anything could get in here really easily. They have a whole bunch of Traveler's RV sites. Ours had water and power, as do most. I think there's only one with a full sewer hookup, but there is a dump station here on site, so that's really not an issue. There's also lots of tenting sites right along the river in the woods, and they have little water stations nearby. In addition to that, they have several cabins. Some, a couple of them are full-on kitchen, bath, private, everything. Other ones are maybe just a, a mini kitchen with a sink and microwave and fridge. So they're very uh, varied amenities in these cabins and they're nice, cute cabins. So if you're tenting or in a cabin and it doesn't have the full facilities, they have two really well kept clean shower houses. There's outdoor showers, there's indoor showers and restrooms uh, on either end of the camp. So very, very easy access for that. There's even showers um, at the heart of the pool. Yeah, right outside too. the pool area, which is cool. There are lots of perm sites here and people will spend the summer in their perm site or coming up every weekend. But what they have here that's kind of unique is they have an RV storage area. So if you don't have a permanent site, you could store your RV here and then you call ahead of time and they'll take it out of storage and put it on a site and get it ready for you for the weekend, which I, we thought was really cool. And that's cool. included in their monthly storage fee, which we thought was incredibly re reasonable and really a nice, nice service. Throughout the property, there's an extensive network of hiking trails. Most of them go right along the river, which you see uh, that we were standing behind. And in the tenting And in the areas. tenting area. So if you just wanted to get out and uh, hike through the forest, there's plenty of trails to do that. In one of the shower houses, maybe the other one too, I'm not sure, but there was laundry. So we were able to reset here, which is always a nice thing to coordinate and plan. Um, and at the two shower houses, they have big, padlocked cubby hole areas. So let's say you tent every weekend and you don't want to haul a lot of your equipment back and forth, or maybe you have a cabin and you don't want to haul everything back and forth. You can rent these uh, storage units. That's the first time we've ever yeah, seen, we've that, seen that. What a clever idea. Situation. So that was really handy. Another thing they have here that's really unique is Wi-Fi throughout the camp. And they have repeaters all throughout the camp. And they have two different networks. They have one for the residents and then they have one for us guests. So it keeps the traffic separate. And really, we didn't we didn't get any T-Mobile, Verizon, or AT&T, but we didn't need to because the Wi-Fi was so good. We were and able to make phone calls. There was no downtime. <laughs> yeah, everything we did. Probably some of the best Wi-Fi we've had at a campground. There's a group of people that actually own this campground, and I think one of them must be, be a tech in guy. the tech industry or yeah. something. <laughs> so we had a first. 
Um, there's a town about 10 miles away, Elberton, Georgia. Yeah. So we took our e-bikes and we went to town and had a Mexican lunch and got yeah. off campus for a change. Yeah. It was kind of fun. Yeah, so if you need to go to town when you're camping, it's very close by. Yeah, there's shopping. People were talking about going in there. So if you find yourself uh, north of Atlanta in Georgia you and you want to go to a really, really nicely well-kept and organized and fun LGBTQ campground, you should really check yeah. this campground out. It's really nice. Check out the Rivers, time. the Rivers Edge Campground in, I love saying this, Dewey Rose, Dewey Georgia. Rose, Georgia. And it was Dewey in the morning. So yeah, the it was. It definitely, it, it's probably in our top five of campgrounds, LGBTQ campgrounds yeah. uh, throughout the country that we've stayed at. So, so I dare you to live on the edge. Yeah, so like we did. Live on the edge. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> as if always, you like our yeah, videos, please remember hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell if you want notifications, and hit the thumbs up if you like it. Yeah, thanks for joining us as always, everyone, and yep. safe travels out there, and maybe we'll see you on the road. Travel safely. And chompers. Bye now. <laughs>